How to design effective grit removal systems is a common question within the grit removal industry. In this two minute industry update, we'll help you the wastewater pro with two design tips. Let's get started. The first design tip is sizing. Remember one sizing formula does not fit all equipment. When sizing equipment, the forced vortex with V-Force baffle unit sizes its equipment based on peak flow and optimum inlet channel velocity. Stack tray units use surface overflow rates and slope bottom units use flow. These sizing methods are unique to each style of equipment. Don't make the mistake of using the wrong sizing method. For example, if you were to use surface overflow rates on a forced vortex with V-Force baffle unit, you would oversize the unit by a factor of 12. You would be oversized, over budget, and without enough wastewater flow to make the equipment work. The second design tip is particle size. The forced vortex with V-Force baffle unit handles all particle sizes, 105 micron and larger at the peak flow rate and below without derating the unit. The stack tray unit must consider the particle size on every design because the unit is sized based on settling rates. The specific gravity of the grit and the shape of the grit is a concern when designing the unit. The stack tray unit also derates the efficiency at peak flows. And finally, the sloped bottom unit also handles a wide range of grit particles, 150 micron and larger. These two design tips will help you become a grit removal design pro. Visit GritTheFacts.com for more info. That's it for this two minute industry update. I'm Brady Goodman and we'll see you next time.